Good morning everyone and welcome back. I hope your morning so far has uh, not been too hectic and it's been uh, nice and calm and orderly. Um, this video really is to just go through some of the expectations that we'll be having over the coming weeks and months with the restrictions in place and those expectations aren't just for you, they're for us as well as staff and all the things that we can all do together uh, to make sure that school stays uh, safe, calm, risk-free and a place where uh, you can learn and do well. Okay, so has COVID changed you? By that what I mean is the last five months have been very, very different, unprecedented. Have you changed? Have you changed as a person over the last five months? A few things to think about. Are you more thankful? what other people do for you and us as a community and that might be uh, the shop workers it might be the postal workers NHS workers your parents your family your friends you might even have a newfound appreciation for what your teachers do are you more appreciative so more appreciative of what you have more appreciative of how things are at home your family life your friends people that you love has it made you more respectful? More respectful, perhaps, for those who've worked all through the pandemic for the last five months, keeping the country going. That might be a family member. It might be a friend, somebody that you know, who's been working extra hard the last five months to keep things ticking along. Have they inspired you? So maybe the people who have been doing that, they might have inspired you to perhaps think about following uh, a specific career path. I know some people who have been inspired by NHS workers and now they're sort of telling me, some of my friends, that that's a career path that they now like to pursue. Do you have a newfound recognition for the importance of education? We've been out of school now for five months. Has it changed your view of how important education is and the role of school? Now, the role of school, I mean, not just in terms of learning about subjects and hopefully passing some exams at the end of year 11, but actually school as a hub of the community, as a place where you see your friends, as a place where you develop as a person. And hopefully you've realised that every day really does count. And certainly the lesson for me and I hope it's something that you might be able to sort of take away and take on board, is that you really do never know what is just around the corner. So, has COVID changed our expectations? Well, the simple answer is yes. So some of our expectations we're going to be having over the coming weeks and months are going to be different. You'll need to get used to the routines and boundaries that school provides. Now, whether you like it or not, school does provide these and we all need them. We all need them as humans. You probably don't realise it, but we do. And we need to get used to them again. And not just you, that's us as staff as well. There'll be different rules in place than before. So rules to do with personal and respiratory hygiene, rules to do with social distancing and keeping that sort of one metre plus where possible if you can. They're rules that we never had before and they're rules that we're going to have to put in place. Bubble expectations. We'll have all heard of this term of keeping people in uh, bubbles. Okay, we're no different as a school, so you'll be kept in year group bubbles. There'll be expectations as to your behaviour within them. So these posters here, you'll see these uh, up and around school. Okay, six very simple things that we'll be expecting of all of you. They are remain in your des designated year group zones. Stay two metre apart where possible. Now, we appreciate that, you know, at times to stay that exact two metres apart from everybody else, it might sometimes be difficult and you might sometimes come closer to other people. But we want you just to be taking an active sort of interest in trying to maintain that two metre distance. Washing and sanitising hands at regular intervals. Practising catch it, bin it, kill it. 
do not share equipment with others and then finally and this is a general expectation that's always been in place in school but is much more important now follow instructions first time of asking those six expectations by the way they're for every single person in school they're not just for you and staff aren't going to follow those we'll all be adhering to them okay i'll just let you read that very short simple um statement so the rules that we've got in place are now just as much about protecting the health of around a thousand people including the students and the staff around a thousand people are sort of coming into school it's just as much about that as it is about having rules that create an environment where people can learn and any behavior that puts the health of other people at risk will not be tolerated okay so what will be different so there won't be a remove room instead students will complete alternative classroom learning so if you get your three warnings i'll go through this in a little bit more detail rather than encore picking you up taking you to remove they'll be picking you up and they'll be taking you to an alternative classroom for the remainder of that lesson within your year group bubble no loss of free time that you might remember from last year where you used to lose your uh, your break and lunch instead we'll be running 20 minute year group detentions that occur either at break or lunch and that will be on a rotor and that will very much depend on your sort of uh, year group um, timetable because obviously we'll be having staggered break and lunch times no laughs so no late afternoon school instead we'll be running a very simple one hour extended day uh, after school which again will take place within your uh, year group bubble and no DRIC. now that really only applies to an absolutely small minority of people listening to this video any serious misbehavior will be dealt with at our discretion so what i mean by that is we'll deal with that on a case by case basis we obviously haven't got the DRIC uh, where students might get a five day referral or a 10 day referral but clearly you can sort of read between the lines we're going to be having to do something very similar the purpose of DRIC was for students to spend some time out of school um, so any serious misbehavior like I say that will be dealt with at our discretion okay classroom expectations then it's business as usual no real difference for you so within your lesson you'll get classroom support from your teacher so at the top there you can see your class teacher will support you to correct your behavior with a range of strategies so it might be the targeted use of praise checking that you understand the task perhaps a just a quiet word asking you to settle down it might be that you've moved seats it might be a private discussion outside the classroom or setting you some short-term targets to reach that's the support your class teacher will give you throughout the lesson that's in addition to our sort of formal warning system and that remains the same so that's uh, the three warnings as normal on your second warning uh, you'll be given a behavior point and a note will be added to sims on your third warning on call will be contacted you'll be removed from the lesson and spend the rest of the lesson in acl if that happens you'll be issued with a 20 minute lunch or break detention issued for the next day failure to attend that next day detention which got to bear in mind it's 20 minutes failure to attend that will result in a one hour extended day after school okay esc cards these will remain uh, we will be keeping these however clearly we can't have a situation where you're passing them to members of staff they're passing them back and this sort of contact of the card between you and lots of other people so you'll be getting an ESC card you will be responsible for signing your card so if you're pulled up for one of those infringements and normally obviously you'd hand your card over to the member of staff who will sign it you'll be asked to sign your card 
so to tick one of those boxes it might be equipment it might be uniform it might be time and you'll date it for that that date uh, you know whichever it is failure to do that it's very simple it'll be dealt with very very simply there'll be no big confrontation about you refusing to do as you've been asked you'll just simply have one behavior point added now that's simple math really because obviously you need to get that signed three times before you get that behavior point refusal to do so will just be a straight off point so it's basic maths 10 seconds to sign your card much more preferable than that immediate behavior point if you fill your card in as well you will be asked to dispose of this yourself probably in the bin within the classroom okay equipment so our expectations regarding equipment will be even higher the reason for that is obviously there'll be no sharing can't be any sharing between students and there's less chance really of staff sort of willingly lending out that equipment if you forgot your pen or a ruler I know myself as a teacher I'll very quickly sort of lend a pen or a ruler just so we can you know keep the lesson going that obviously can't happen as much so that's another example of how our expectations are going to have to be higher you must provide your own equipment and this is a really good opportunity actually for all of you to get just that little bit more organized with the equipment that you bring to school it'll be checked daily in your personal development session it should be shared with other students if a staff member has to provide you with stationery so the rare occasion that a staff member has to do that that can't be returned so you must keep that and it's more than likely just going to be a pen if you haven't got your pen that must then not be returned every student will be issued with a purple pen so you need to keep that safe that'll be provided to you free of charge if you lose that or you damage that then any replacements will have to be purchased you should ideally bring your own glue sticks for sort of sticking in worksheets and things like that into your books and as normal incorrect equipment will just be your ESC card uh, being signed obviously by yourself so just a reminder of the things that you'll need a pencil case with a range of pens more than one in case that one runs out a pencil ruler glue stick now in maths obviously at the bare minimum a calculator but obviously in maths you sometimes use some extra equipment so I'm sure your maths teachers if you're you know coming up to a few lessons where you'll need something else they might be you know asking you about that and it might be worth going out and, and purchasing some and bringing that in highlighters now I know the English department in particular use highlighters an awful lot in their work lots of other subjects use them as well so it might be a good idea to just bring uh, a range of different colored highlighters with you and then finally a bag it, honestly it always amazes me the last few years the deterioration in the amount of students who bring a bag and it honestly I, I just don't really understand how you could come to school without a bag now what you've got to bear in mind is that you're probably going to be taking more of your books and folders home that you, than you've done previously because we, we can't have a situation where you're sort of handing books out handing them back in and they're being handled by lots of different people so a bag is an absolute necessity to bring your equipment and obviously to take your uh, books and folders home okay uniform again business as usual uniform expectations remain the same your uniform will have been checked this morning it will continue to be checked on a regular basis incorrect uniform you should have been issued with a pink slip you'll be given a two-week period to rectify that and you will be challenged by staff all staff have been instructed to check your uniform shoes trousers skirts checking your hair any piercings makeup all of those things will be checked and you'll be required to rectify them if they're not up to our usual expectations and standards okay what to expect from your teachers staff have been working really hard over summer we're all looking forward to having you back and it's business as usual we can assure you that these are the things you will get from your teachers 
your teaching assistants, office staff, canteen staff, caretakers, all adults in school, you can expect to get this from. Genuine excitement to having you back. Support, positivity, praise. There will be challenge, and that's a good thing. There will be consistency, that's a good thing. Staff will notice, staff will follow up, staff will push you to be the best you can be and get back to where we were five months ago. There will be standards and boundaries that we expect you to adhere to. And to finish, this was something that I saw on my Twitter feed and this was, um, it was sort of towards the back end of last term when the year 10s were coming back and uh, we got some other students in. But I saw this on an account that I follow and it really, really is true. So it said one of the things that became clear when making calls home to students' parents is that they are desperate to return to school, to see friends, to see teachers, even to work. When it gets to September, make sure our enthusiasm as staff matches yours. You'll want to see it. And I can assure you that will happen. Have a great first day back. If you have any questions or concerns, then do not hesitate to ask a member of staff.